Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 build video. Welcome and Happy New Year. This is the first build video I've made this year, 2019. I hope you guys have had a good new year so far. The short one that we've had so far. And so this is a redo of my last build. I am going to be doing some more unique builds after this, but I just wanted to to, to do this again because my last build, if you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link down in the description and at the end of this video if you'd like to go see it. So this is a sniper's roost. It's a tower sort of camp for a sniper. And in the first version, there were a couple issues I had where I couldn't get pieces to place the way I wanted them to go with the limitations of this game. And so the build didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it. So in this version, I'm going to do it over and I've since figured out how to do the things I couldn't do before. And a lot thanks to you guys as well, because you guys came through and offered me all kinds of suggestions. Some of them didn't work. Some of them did. I tried them all. And I especially want to thank Monthar, uh, one of my subscribers and patrons. He actually spent a lot of time troubleshooting it in his own game and he gave me some good ideas. So. Thank you guys for all of your help. I hope that you enjoyed this video. So I already have the foundation set down. Um, it's just a, you know, a two by two foundation and I have it set up as high as it can go because it is a tower and I want it to be as tall as possible. And if you build it on the edge of a cliff, uh, that even makes it a little bit taller. So then put a regular stair on it and then one of these stair frames. The first one that you come to in the menu with the stair on the left side. Put that down. And I apologize if my voice sounds a little uh, off. I actually have kind of a cough right now, so, um, so my voice probably sounds kind of funny and I might be clearing my throat as well. I'm getting a little bit of lag here, sorry about that. So I'm going to put two four pieces here <clears throat> and then I'm going to go down here and put a regular stair right there and then put a foundation on the end of that. This will be temporary. It's just to connect the floor to the ground. It has to, because the floors have to have support, and we're going to be taking this stair off periodically, temporarily, but we need another stair to ground the, the floor. Okay, so now we're going to put walls, and I prefer the ones with the windows, because, um, well, you know, this is a sniper tower, you gotta look out and see what's going on, right? But don't put walls on this side yet. First, because... I'll tell you why, and if you watched my other video, you know why. If you put a wall on here with this stair frame in, it won't go in except for backwards. And the same with the door. So we have to take this stair frame out first. And then we'll be able to put the wall in the correct way. If I can do it there. And the door. And then we'll put the stair frame back. It's a little bit time consuming to do this way, but it works. And it's the only way it works too. Alright, so now once we have that down, I'm going to put um, some floors here to extend this floor out a little bit. And I'm, <clears throat> excuse me. And I'm also going to put some temporary floors around it. One here, one, nah, come on, like that. Like that. You can put a small floor here if you want, but I just find it easier to do, to do it that way since it is temporary, so it doesn't have to look really nice. But you do have to put one facing this way and two facing the other way or it won't work the thing that we're going to do next won't work or you can put a small one on the corner here so once we've got that done <coughs> excuse me we'll remove this again 
And so this just allows us to remove, these temporary floors just allow us to remove um, the, the stair that they have to connect to the main floor. And it leaves, and so these aren't floating. And it also allows us to snap on these railings here. And that's why you need a small one, half size one, or a long one facing this way, then a full one, because then it won't snap. If you put a full one here and then a full one there, um, it will be crossing the seam between two full ones and it won't work. It won't snap in. So you gotta do it just the way I did in order for it to work. Okay, once we have that in, oh, and while we're here, put a door in. You can't put a door in if the stair frame is here. It just won't go in. <clears throat> um, I think I'll pick a green one since they sort of match the shutters better because the shutters are kind of green. Now we can put the stair frame back in. And once the stair frame is back in, you can add the rest of the railings. Um, you have to remove this one to put the small railing in, or it won't go. Um, defenses. So the small railing will snap, but it won't snap with the, uh, the temporary floor on there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, sorry. I have a cough, <laughs> and so I had to stop and cough. And then you can... Oh wait, before... No. Before we put that in, put a staircase going up the third to the third floor. And we're going to set that right there. Then you can put in. Oh no, wrong direction. The long ones. So there. Now we have a wood railing going all the way around. Um, these ones are backwards, but they look a lot better than the other alternative that I had in my first video. Now you can remove the temporary floors, but before you do, test to make sure you can put in the floor, um, the, the, the floor up here. I built, <clears throat> I practiced building this three times before I made this video, and the first two times it worked, and the third time it didn't. So there, it worked this time. So, two out of four times it worked, and two out of four times it didn't. If it doesn't snap in, you guys, the floor up there, you have to take off this wall to get it to snap in. But if you put this wall back with the frame in, the stair frame in, this wall will snap in backwards even now. Even with this other wall, it doesn't snap to the to the other wall next to it, it snaps to the floor. So you would have to remove the stair frame again, remove that wall, then snap in the floor, then put the wall back, then put the stair frame back. And that's why you shouldn't remove these temporary floors until you've tested whether or not the floor up there will go in or not. Once you got the floor up there working, you can take these off because you won't need them anymore. We don't have to remove the stair frame any longer, any other times now. So then put another floor up here. And this is the sniper's actual roost area up here. So the, the room down below is like your house where you put your bed and your furniture, whatever you want to do. And up here is the sniper's tower. Now, <clears throat> this is how I built, I'll show you. If you haven't watched my previous video, this is how I did it. I just put doors all the way around because I wanted to um, create sort of a I don't know sort of a a faux like so that's what it was like I wanted to create a roof with posts supporting it but it doesn't let you do that in this game posts aren't considered supports, so you can't do that. Now, <clears throat> somebody suggested to me that I just 
use a a wall to get the roofs up there, then take it off and put posts in. But that doesn't work because it will let you remove the last wall piece because then the roof is floating. And even after you put posts in, well, actually, you can't put posts in. Here, I'll show you. Um, posts won't go in because they're um, apparently not supported this high up off the ground or something. I don't know. You can't put posts in up here. So there you go. So we're stuck with doing it the way I originally did it. <laughs> and of course you guys can do it however you want. I I wanted to do it this way. Um, some of you guys suggested just using regular windows with the shutters and you know, that works too. However, I don't personally like them. And this is why, I'll tell you why. You could do it because you can't shoot through these. You don't have glass in them, but it, they're they're limited. You can't look down as far, and um, you're just you have a limited field of view, more so than the door. Because with the door, you can you can scoot way out here and shoot straight down if you need to. So you know, it's just up to you guys what you want to do. You can put windows, you can put doors, whatever you think is best, and I. I want to put the doors in mine. So then, that's the extent that I did in my original version, but for my new version, I'm gonna do something a little different, and you guys don't have to do this, of course. You don't have to. I am going to put um, an actual like, sort of balcony thing up here. so that you can come out and walk around. Um, no, don't go like that. Come on. There. <clears throat> Just to make it a little different. And it also makes it feel a little bit more secure because I'm gonna put railings around it. And the railings are lower than the the windows so they um you can shoot over them easier than you can over the windowsill you know what i mean here i'll show you <laughs> so the railings out here like this short ones. Let's put a short one here. Here. Down the ends. There. So, as you can see, they're lower <clears throat> than the railing. Uh, the railings are a little bit lower. I mean, you can't lean out as far with these here. So, you know, it's an optional thing for if whatever you guys find to be the most uh, useful for your own build, but I find shooting over a railing is a lot easier than shooting over a window sill. And that's just my own personal preference. So you guys can do what you like. And you know, you also might not like the look of it. Um, I figure that these are not, they don't protrude enough to warrant supports because they're, the rafters should go all the way across. You know, theoretically, the rafter could go all the way across and stick out the ends and you could build on those and that's that's my reasoning there so <laughs> so oh, of course my battery controllers are low hopefully they last until I'm done with this video all right so now it is still floating down here so what we're gonna do next is remove this stair the temporary one because we don't need it anymore and then we are going to put supports down here, and we're also going to put railings down here. But before we do, before we do the supports, so let's go back to defenses. Now, <clears throat> you can't put these railings on here. 
they will snap on out here, but they will not snap on under here. And you cannot snap the stairs over them. So like if you put these on here first, uh, this stair frame won't snap on over them. But it will snap on. These will snap on. So I'm going to use these. Put the fences down first. Because the posts will snap in. There they go. <laughs> it was almost going to call me a liar there for a second. The posts will snap in um, over the fences, but the fences will not snap in over the posts. So put the fences in first. And there... So we have it. Um, <clears throat> I also am going to put some here so that that section's not floating. I think it just would look better. And that is the basic, um, the basic thing. Oh, I forgot to put a door up here on this side. Um, <clears throat> you can put a door up here if you want to. Um, doors. There we go. <clears throat> there. So, we got the sniper's roost up here. Really cool. And you can go all the way around and easily, and you can go back and forth through the different doors really quickly. And then you can close this one. And lock it if you want to, to keep people from going up there. And then you can put your own um, bed and furniture or whatever up here. And you can lock it if you don't want people going in. <clears throat> but down here is supposed to be the workshop. And I, I personally like to... Uh, where are they? The crafting. There they are. <clears throat> I personally like to leave my crafting benches. Oh no. <laughs> Better not be where I'm at. Uh, where is it? Oh, of course it's at White Spring. I don't think anybody would uh, put a nuke where I'm at. If, if you want Attention wanted, citizens. Uh, Nuclear strike imminent. If you want to know where I Please am... Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. This is my camp. Thank you for your cooperation. Um, it's right up above Clancy Manor. Way up here in the northwest corner of the map. If you would like to build there. I remember somebody asked me in my last video where I built this. So there's Clancy Manor down there. There's a lot of scorched in it. And you just come up the side here and here it is. Okay, now that that interruption is over with, sorry about that you guys. And it looks like I need to drink something. What was I doing? Oh, <clears throat> right. I'm easily distracted. Okay. <laughs> right. I personally prefer to put um, crafting benches and stash boxes out where people, travelers who are going by, can use them. They can see them and use them and don't have to break down your door to get inside. And I feel like, you know, if the crafting benches and everything are just out there free for them to use, it gives them less incentive to destroy your camp. Um, <clears throat> if you have everything all locked up from this, just locked up and out of, out, not accessible to people, you know, and this might not be true, but it could be. For, in, in some cases, it could be. It could be true. Um, they might destroy your camp out of spite because you locked up the resources from them. Or, you know, the, the crafting benches and the stash boxes and stuff like that. And, you know, that's obviously not true for everybody because some people just are jerks and want to destroy things because they don't have anything better to do. But I like to make my camps welcoming to strangers so that they feel like they can come in and use my stuff. So I don't want to lock it all behind a door. I usually have a little workshop that's out, out in the main area where people can use it. But, you know, that is totally up to you guys. 
what you want to do. You could completely close in the entire lower level of this and lock the door if you want to. It's totally up to you. But it would destroy the sort of roost looking tower kind of aesthetic that I was going for if you put a walls on the lower level because then it wouldn't look as towery. It would just look like a three-story house. So anyways, you guys, that's basically the, <clears throat> the gist of it. So let me know in the comments what you think of the new and improved version. It, um, tell me what you think of that balcony. Do you like it? I liked it. I think it just added a little bit more uh, character to it. And um, tell me what you think of the changes, the workarounds. I, I like how it turned out. At least it did turn out this time. It turned out and it's it's a usable... It's not as ramshackle looking as it was in the first version. You know what I mean? So tell me down in the comments below if you saw both videos and which one you like best. And anyway, that's it for this build, you guys. Please go check out... Oh, there goes the nuke. <laughs> somewhere. <clears throat> down that way somewhere. Can't see it. It's side of that hill um go check out my my discord server got tons of fun conversations going on over there and also if i like want to connect with you guys and ask you opinions about stuff about my builds or about my videos whatever i'll be i'll be asking those questions on there and i'm also trying to set up a merch shop and currently I have a thread over there talking about it. You guys can give me ideas for what kind of merchandise you think I should sell in my store. So if you want to be a part of that, head on over there. It's free and it's fun and we've got a great community, friendly, helpful community going on over there. It's been really fun. And so the link for that is in the description below. And if you would like to support my channel, you can do that on Patreon or Coffee, And the links for those are down below as well, as well as my social media. Anyways, you guys, uh, that is all for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye, guys.